I'm Eva and I'm an ambassador for Wavemakers United. You know Wavemakers, of course, of water. But this weekend we're stepping outside of the water bubble for the SDG Action Weekend. We're here at the UN and more important, we're talking to youth that know all about sustainability and their connection to water. So, follow us. Hey, Hakona, how, uh, how's your day been? Oh, let me tell you about it. It's actually been quite amazing. We went to the opening ceremony um, in the General Assembly and then I attended two sessions. One was on local and regional governments and the second one was on um, civil society, basically looking at financing, advocacy and accountability at civil society level like obviously touches on all the SDGs, but a lot of what was prioritized was intersectionality. How do we bring them all together? And then also action was a word which was repeated quite frequently. I took away was the realistic nature of the summit. So currently we're at the halfway mark. A lot of the SDGs haven't been achieved as much as we would have wanted to be by now. How do we try to create a tipping point force so that we can go back on track to trying to reach the SDGs by 2030? And today we actually just had our World Cafe. We talked about how we can involve even more youth and innovative ideas on water and sustainability. How youth can take a seat on the table to inspire big companies, governments and the entire world to take action. And we'll take all this output of this session and we continue it towards the COP28 in Dubai uh, where we will launch the new Game Changer Challenge. And uh, if you want to be involved in this uh, challenge, then become an ambassador or even sign up as a participant. Hello, so I'm Daniel Del Valle Blanco. I'm the ambassador and permanent observer of the International Youth Organization to the United Nations. And I believe I'm one of the youngest ambassadors worldwide. I'm actually 22 years old. So our main job focuses on representing the youth voices uh, at the highest level together with the governments and making sure that the youth matters and that the youth has also, even if it's a little, but it has a word. We have to remember that uh, climate change is the shark and water is its thief. For instance, uh, working in Ghana, I have been to some places where they really drink river water, where they drink stream water that are really, really dirty and getting them sick. In 20 years, 50 years, we, the youth, will be in charge of a lot of decisions. So right now, we should start learning about water. We should start coming up with innovations uh, toward water, how to clean more water, how to get more water, how to sustain water, not only for developing countries but for all over the places because water doesn't have boundaries as well as climate change. In my country, I don't know if you guys know, where we had like crisis and viruses like Ebola and all those other sicknesses that are part of like that was caused by like water problems and so the country is trying to sign partnership with uh, some companies internationally to see if they can provide a better service like clean water supplies so they can you know take care of the, the population better. Today in Chile we are living a very difficult situation around water. Uh, around 40% of rural schools do not have a secure access to a drinking water supply which implies that Women uh, who are menstruating they have to miss school and that implies more uh, school desertion. The areas in Chile are experiencing drought and women who are experiencing that have to collect water for their families because they're the ones that have to take care of their homes. And it's about like creating the capacities on every uh, school and every area uh, that is like in danger because of natural disasters or lack of water and everything to give uh, girls the capacities to affront that and potentiate their resilience. So I'm from Bangladesh and the people living in the coastal region of our country are one of the biggest sufferers of having fresh water and the people they have to collect fresh water at, uh, if they want to have this fresh water they have to walk at least for three miles per day and uh, the women and uh, children they are being uh, mostly impacted because of this crisis and uh, nowadays we are thinking about local led solutions like uh, rainwater harvesting and uh, some uh, groundwater recharge so this kind of initiatives are are being um, taken in this uh, in our community right now. Like water is so important for our community and for example in my city that is a desert um, it's really important that we have to take care of what, how much water we use 
So we try to make projects for the kids and youth to um, take care of the water, have to take the time with the shower, doing projects with the state so like we can have new dams, artificial dams, like when it rains, we have more water. Yeah, so this weekend we were in New York at the SDG Action Weekend, which was a lot about sessions and for us to step out a bit out of the water bubble and of course relieve everything about sustainability. Mostly the sessions were about how do we finance local action and basically how do we achieve the SDGs at a local governance level. So we looked at financing initiatives, infrastructure projects, supporting women, people with disabilities and vulnerabilities and hopefully we can hear more of you know the concrete solutions. We learned a lot, we spoke to a lot of youth who are great ambassadors for their own country, for their own local community, for their own SDG, but also for the entire planet which was really inspiring and it personally motivates me to continue this journey and make a better world in clean, safe and sufficient water.